Hi, it's ENT125, Network Management Wireless Lab. We just got, got done connecting in our clients. Uh, what we're going to do now, now that we have the, the base network up and running, we're now going to add the wireless in. Uh, so get your access point, get a power cord. Uh, don't connect the access point in the network yet. We literally are going to plug directly into the access point to configure it, and then we will plug it in the network where we want it. Uh, it does come with a default config, so we need to basically browse into it and change that, and then put it in the network where we want it. So, uh, power it up. Uh, once it's powered up, give it a second. Use the paperclip, the reset tool. Use the reset button on the back. There's a there's a little hole that the paper clip goes into hold it in there for about five ten seconds then the uh, the access point light will blink let the paper clip out and it's going to reset to factory default so get rid of any passwords or any names or anything on it um, after that has been done take the patch cable from the back of your pc and plug it directly into the port on the on the access point so once I've done that, I'm going to open the command prompt on my PC and get an IP and check all that. Now, before I go any further, make sure you have saved your router config if you didn't do that previously. Make sure you've saved your router and switch config. Um, so do that. I'm going, to, I'm going to minimize that. So now over here, I'm going to do an IP config. I'm going to see what I get. Um, it's actually giving me a 192.168.0.100. That is coming from the access point. Okay, that is coming from the access point. Um, so now that I have that, the gateway address, this is actually the address of the access point. I'm going to use that address to browse into it. So I'm just going to highlight that. Um, I'm going to hit the enter key to copy it. I'm going to open my browser. I'm going to open up a new tab. And I'm going to browse into that IP. It's going to give me the login. Now, since it has been cleared off, it's like, hey, create a login password for this thing, since we're the first ones logging in. So please use password123. I know it's not very secure, but it's a, a generic setting that another student in another class could use to get in um, if they forgot to clean off the AP. So password123, and we'll do password123 here as well. And make sure they match. We'll click start. That's going to give. That's going to basically put the uh, uh, basic password on. Uh, once we're in there, now we're going to skip the uh, uh, quick setup. We're going to exit that. And while we're here, let's look at the network. So over here, over in the network side, boom. Okay. We want to make sure we're selecting static IP. We don't want this getting. We don't want the access point getting the dynamic IP. We want, we want to set set the IP that we want on this thing. So we'll hit the static IP, and we're going to put the IP address in here that we have on our plan. So down here, we said we're going to use twenty four three for our access point. So we're going to do twenty four dot three. Let's make sure we edit our subnet mask, 248.0, and we need 24.1. That'll be the router, 24.1. Okay, I'm going to make sure all that looks good. Let me get back to my directions here. Once all that's good, I'm going to do save. Okay, It's going to reboot and apply this. This might take a minute. So I'm going to pause the, the podcast while this is rebooting. And when it's about done, I will come back on and I will continue on for that from there. All right, my AP just got done rebooting. The address in the browser bar updated, and it's now prompting me for my login. So I'm going to use the password 123 to log back into my access point. Now that I'm logged back into here, let's finish setting it up before we put it in the network. So here, um, select the network on the left. We're going to make sure our change applied the way we wanted, static IP and all that good stuff. Excellent, it did. We're going to select DHCP over here, and we want to make sure this is disabled. We already have a DHCP server on the network. It's the router. So we don't want this to be do doing DHCP as well. So we're going to save that. That saves actually very quickly. Um, now that that's been disabled, we are going to move this access point into our network. So we are going to... Uh, disconnect our, our cable from the back of the AP. We're going to plug our PC into a VLAN 30 port. And we're going to plug the um, AP into a VLAN 30 port. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the, the patch cable from uh, my PC that's in the AP. I'm going to move that into a VLAN 30 port. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm moving my, my desktop patch cord into a VLAN 30 port. And that is up in the 15 to 20 range. So we're going to do, I think I'll use 16. And then I'm going to grab another patch cable. And I'm going to go port 20. Actually, I'll use 19. I'll go 19, and I'm going to plug that into my AP. And I'm just going to set my AP probably up on top of the router here. And just let it sit. And let that settle. Okay. Now, um, on my PC, I'm going to need to probably do a release renew kind of thing. Okay. So right here, I'll do a release and then renew, so it's picking up an IP from my VLAN 30. I might have to let my port settle. There we go. We're getting a 24, 24, 100, 24, 1. That's good. Okay, that's good. Okay. And now, with my AP, hopefully it's in there settled. I'm looking at my link lights, making sure... I'm seeing greens and not oranges, and they're green. I'm going to try to browse back into it. So I'm going to just try to use this connection here, and we're good. It's good. Um, if need be, browse back in, browse back in, use the password 123. So over here on the left, we're going to use System Tools. And we're going to go to our time zone, and we're going to select Eastern Time Zone, because that's where we are. And that should hopefully update, and it does update. Excellent. We'll save that. Um, over on System Tools, we're going to use the Diagnostic, and we're going to do a ping. We're going to make sure we can ping our default gateway, 192.168.24.1. So let's give that a try. And we hopefully should be some see some successfuls over here. And we do. So we now have the access point configured to the IP we want. It's in the network and communicating with our router. So all of our VLANs and subinterfaces and everything are working correctly. Yes! Okay, now let's finish the wireless setup. So over here on wireless, let's go to wireless. We want to make sure it's enabled. Let's give it a new SSID name. We're going to use a format like CNT and then your name. So I'm going to do CNT underscore brown. That way you can find your access point. So do CNT and maybe your first name or last name. That way you can find it. Okay, um, we'll leave that set. Uh, mixed, auto, auto. We're going to say save. So it's now going to apply that um, SSID for us. Now let's add the security. So over here, we're going to do wireless security. And we're going to do WPA, WPA2 personal. Enterprise would mean we're connecting to like a radius server, which we don't have. So over here, we'll do WPA2 PS, key, pre -share, pre -shared key. Uh, encryption key key, um, encryption key AES. I'll get it yet. And we'll do the password of password123. I know not very secure, but we're doing generic in case uh, this doesn't get cleared off. Another class can uh, pick up where you left off and reset it. So we'll save that. And that will now apply that. So what I can do at this point is I can get a laptop. You can either use your own or get one out of the laptop cabinet in the lab room. We have a laptop have laptops there free to use. Uh, please do pay attention where you get it from so you can put it back in that slot when you're done. Back in that exact slot. Uh, boot that up. If you need the login credentials, they're on. Uh, I have them taped on the door of the cabinet. Uh, there is a generic account on these. So the login credentials are there. Boot that up. Find your wireless network and connect to it. Um, so find your wireless network, connect to it. And you should be able to open and browse a web page. And you should be able to ping something like Google. Because we have nothing limiting that. So I'm actually going to use my personal laptop right now. I'm going to disconnect from, I'm using the college Wi-Fi, and I'm going to search for CNT Brown, and I'm going to connect to that, and I'll plug in the password 123, and I'm now connected. So I'll do a quick IP config on this and see what I'm getting. I should be getting that um, 24, 192, 160, 24 something. I'm getting a 2412. Excellent. So um, my wireless device is connected up. On my, my my wireless access points in my network in my VLAN, and my wireless device is connected to my wireless access point even after I configure the SSID and security. If any of this is not connecting, 
watch your syntax. Watch your syntax here. It needs to be identical. It needs to be identical. Passwords, SSIDs, everything it needs to be identical. That's usually a tripping point. All right. We will come back in the next part and talk about and add some security to our wireless network.